What is dementia with Lewy bodies? Dementia with Lewy bodies is a less common type of dementia. It is closely related to both Alzheimer's disease and Parkinson's disease. Lewy bodies are tiny clumps of protein that develop inside nerve cells. They prevent the cells from communicating properly by disrupting the important chemical messengers between them, eventually causing the cells to die. As yet, we don't know how or why Lewy bodies form. Dementia with Lewy bodies can affect any part of the brain, leading to many different symptoms. These include difficulties with movement and deterioration in physical abilities, problems with concentration and alertness that often vary from day to day, and visual hallucinations when people see something that isn't really there. This may occur when cells involved in processing visual information are damaged, sometimes causing people misperceptions of things that are seen. As with Alzheimer's disease, the symptoms of dementia with Lewy bodies get worse as more nerve cells are destroyed or damaged. As this happens, a person's memory is more likely to be affected. Developing strategies to remember things and using memory aids may help people cope with memory loss. Dementia with Lewy bodies can cause hallucinations that may be very distressing, both to the person with dementia and those around them. The hallucinations may be of people or animals. During an hallucination, it is more helpful to reassure someone that you are there to support them, rather than tell them that what they are seeing is not real. Dementia with Lewy bodies can cause disrupted sleep, as well as vivid dreams that the person may try to act out while sleeping. Exercise during the day and reducing daytime napping can help with some of these sleep disturbances. The medications that help with the symptoms of Alzheimer's disease can also help for dementia with Lewy bodies. Some of the medications used for Parkinson's disease can be beneficial for problems with movement. Health professionals, such as neurologists, occupational therapists and physiotherapists, can assist with any movement problems caused by the condition and try to maintain a person's independence and mobility.